Hey, what's up everybody? Jason here from Poor Man's Preparing, and today we're going to have a quick look at what I carry every day. Alright, first we're going to start off by saying I got my number one helper here with me, PGP, which is Poor Girl Preparing. Say hi, everybody. Hi. <laughs> Alright, so let's start off. Here's my bag. Nothing fancy. It's kind of small. I emptied it out already to make it easier. It's just a Red Rock sling pack. It's, you know, pretty basic bag. So, we'll get on with that. I love it, by the way. It's great. Only like 35 bucks. So, let's get on with the first item. All right, we got some lotion here. Very important for me uh, because I work a lot with my hands and I like to keep them without cracks and all the dry skin and everything. Second, some gloves. Gotta have gloves, which also helps protect the hands. We got some hand sanitizer, which everybody knows sanitizes the hands. It also works as a fire starter. Next up, Hank a paracord. Everybody needs paracord. Or some kind of cord at least. But I recommend paracord definitely. And we got a little fire kit. I got some camping waterproof matches. Uh, if you've seen my video about the big flame disc. You'll know what these are here. They work good. A little stick of fat wood. A little wet fire by Ultimate Survival Technologies. And some aluminum foil. And a couple more little cotton fire starters. They work good. Next up, we got a Tuts Custom Ferro Rod with the deer antler handle. I customized this one a little bit by taking an old bandsaw blade and cutting it down. I put some notches in it. it strikes excellent. I, I just ta attached it with a little bit of that wood rope. These are available on my website at the preparedness store without the striker or the rope, though. Only $15. Next up, I just got a little cheap plastic poncho. Many uses you could keep yourself dry or make a little makeshift shelter if you needed to. Next up, one of my favorite things is the hybrid light solar flashlight slash USB charger to charge your mobile devices. Plus, you could charge it up too if you, the sun's not out. I carry this on the outside of my bag. It's a very nice light. It's also available on the preparedness store. Next up is the Survivor Filter Straw, which if you've seen my video, you know I've used this and it definitely works. I drank straight out of the Ohio River with it and it tasted better in tap water. Definitely recommend Survivor Filter. If you're not going to get one of these, at least get some sort of water purifying option. It's very important. One of my favorite things is a pair of sunglasses because I can't stand the sun. They're nothing fancy, just some old cheapo Walmart glasses, but they do just fine. Then I got a little medical kit with some antibiotics, some band-aids, some super glue, some hand cleaning wipes and whatnot. A little cheapo lighter. I carry a Bic with me every day. That's just a backup. Another important item is an old phone charger. Plus it'll charge the solar flashlight, and these Bluetooth headphones that I have. Very, very important to have these to ignore the assholes at work. Got to be prepared for that. <laughs> Here I got some extra baggies because you never know when you need to just throw something in a bag. A little Desi pack to keep moisture away. You can pretty well get them in a lot of electronics and stuff. Here I got a little bit of food. I got tuna, which is very good for protein. And you could just eat it right out of there as opposed to the can. They stay, they, they don't stay good as long, but I eat them anyway, so they don't go bad. I got some ketchup, salt, and a little Snickers bar in there. In case I'm not being myself. I got a little Sharpie marker that goes, attaches to the outside of my bag the little notepad and a couple pins 
and that's pretty well all I carry inside of the bag. Uh, if I need some extra cigarettes, I'll throw them in there. I also throw my snacks for lunch and stuff for work in there as well. So that's pretty well everything I carry inside of my bag. Now on my person, I carry my most important items, I would say, which is number one, a good pocket knife. This is a Kershaw Speed Safe. I'm not exactly sure of the name, but it's around $25. Very good knife. Definitely would recommend everyone to get a Kershaw. And I have a neck knife, which is a CRKT Minimalist. Again, very sweet knife. I always have a paracord bracelet on of some kind, because you never know when you need cordage. And last but not least, a good multiplier. Definitely want to get a Gerber or a Leatherman. Do not buy the cheap ones. They just won't last. I prefer the Gerberman, but the Gerber, I'm sorry. But if you want to get the Leatherman, there's nothing wrong with those either. And a little flashlight that goes in my pocket. A Sunray Man. Pretty bright. I think it's like 165 lumens. But that's pretty well what I carry every day. Uh, thanks to Poor Girl Preparing for handing me these items. He's a big help, being a real sweetheart, as always. And, as always, thanks for watching and be ready. Thanks, guys. Be sure to like it and subscribe to my channel if you like my videos. There will be more to come in the future.